Hi, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. Uh, this is Arlene once again from Honeybrook. What we're working on is the series number two of the um, the uh, new style Santa robe Santa. And what we did offline uh, here off the camera, we finished um, putting our cut all the way around on the top and on the bottom. And what you need to do with that is you need to uh, round that edge off just a bit. All the way, go back and round that all off like this. As you see here. Okay, so it looks like it's rounded. And you want to do that all the way around. And you also want to do the top portion. That same that same ridge. You want I rounded a little bit of it off already. Just want to kind of blend it in. Be careful that your knife doesn't cut up in the top of the. Uh, the hat. Uh, you want to use the tip of your knife for that. Okay, and you're going to do that all the way around. Um, so that your homework when you get off is to finish that all the way around. What we're going to do now is we're going to put the hair portion on the back. Um, we're just going to draw a little line like this up and around. And it's important to try to get this even with where the hair will come down in the front as well. Your little hairline here. Just like that. So it looks like it blends in from here to here. Okay? Um, the other thing you can also do is you can round off the tassel. You can cut that point off and kind of blend that in a little bit. And do the other side here. Okay, see how that's rounding up. And then what you want to do is finish off your tassel. You want to make that little turn there. And a little turn here. More, more than making the actual tassel come out, you're giving it the illusion that it's deeper than it is. So you just want to undercut that a little bit all the way around. And on the other side. Okay, so once you get that done, and then you round off the tassel itself off a little bit, and kind of blend things together, just like you did in the other video, if you followed us on number one there, that we did. Um, so we want to round that all off. Okay, and kind of blend it all together. Okay, get rid of that dark patch there. That's just a sliver like that. See? Kind of make it all the same color because that will show up if you go to paint it later on. And hopefully I'll get my shop up and running uh, by uh, by fall. That's my hope anyway. We'll see what happens. Um, a lot going on these days like most people. And uh, okay, you want to round that off yet? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a stop cut well, you want this side to look the same, the hair over here and the hair line over here. I'll show you here. This is what we're doing, right? This portion and this portion right there. What we're going to do is we're going to make a stop cut again. And please make sure you put your glove on when you do this because you can cut yourself quite severely. And I hate to see anybody do that, but you know, cuts do happen. I don't think there's a carver out there that didn't have somebody... I don't know of a carver that hasn't cut themselves, let's put it that way. And we're going to do a little stop cut here for the other part of the face. And so what you're going to do is you're going to undercut it. You're going to cut up to that line. You can dig that out. You're going to go all the way around and do that. And if it's not deep enough, you just go back and make another little stop cut to clean it up. You can always do that. Alright, and that's what we're doing there. And once you have that in, and this side in, then we're ready to put the face in. Okay, now we're ready to put the beard in however long. So let's make it, this one's fairly long, we won't make it as long. 
we'll just make it down to here. What we want to do is try to match that up. Let's see if that's going to look right. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's go up a little higher with this. It's not rounded enough. We'll take that bottom line off. Like I said, it's a little tough with the camera in front of me. I can't always see everything I'm doing. Sometimes I look through the camera. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a stop cut down here. Undercut it. Do another one. And use your thumb for that. Okay. Another stop cut on that line. So we're going to follow this line around to the bottom there. Exactly like that. And we're going to go from the bottom to the top. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to undercut that. Okay. I'm going to undercut the other side. This corner you just want to dig a little bit further straight in and just make a little cut so that tassel comes out a little further again. The end of that tassel. Okay, this one will round off a little bit. This we're going to round off all the all the um, square edges. We're going to go back. If I can bring that up close enough and round all of them off. Okay, just like that. And like you see, you're going to do the top and the bottom. That it starts to um, be rounded okay and then you're going to also do that for the bottom part of the bo bottom part of that hair line uh, once you get that dig down a little further sometimes you have to do another pass uh, another stop cut to make that occur take your time don't rush through it um, hey I appreciate all the positive comments I've gotten on my um, ch channel on YouTube um, didn't know how many people were going to look at this. I was quite surprised the first week. Um, I had quite a few people look at it and a lot of a lot of email. So thank you so much for all that, folks. I appreciate all the encouragement to keep going and I certainly will. Okay, there's our, there's our face and when we come back on the next segment we're going to start doing the, uh, the nose and the beard and all that. Okay, so go back and clean everything up. Round everything off that needs to be rounded off. Maybe dig this down a little deeper and uh, round off your tassels. Okay, we'll catch you next time.